welcome back. This is Michelle from Michelle's Empty Nest, and I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving if you are here in the United States and celebrated yesterday. I'm filming this on Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. Um, and to those of you not in the United States, I hope you had an awesome Thursday and um, just enjoyed yourself as well. So I wanted to go ahead and do a flip through of the first half of my Thankful 30 album. I just felt like the video would be too long if I waited to do all 30 days. So I'm going to go ahead and do um, the first 15. It has gotten pretty chunky. Remember, this is one I made myself um, from chipboard that I covered with pattern paper and a specialty paper. Um, punched holes, just use these rings. Um, and I had made it last year and then never actually went through with the documenting part of the project. So instead of purchasing anything new, I just kept the kit that I had put together last year. I've made a very good dent in it. Um, there's still, you know, a good bit of stuff in here, but I've used a lot of die cuts and stickers. I've used some of the leaves, um, enamel dots. I also had another pack of die cuts from a long time ago. I want to say it was a Simple Stories. I'm not 100% sure. Um, when I was doing a lot of listing with the Reset Girl, this would have been about probably five or six years ago. So um, a couple of old, older sets there. But I have not had to add anything else to my kit. I'm still sticking just to it. All right, and I have updated my little Thankful 30 prompt list because I ended up um, keeping a lot of them, but maybe not going in the same order. And then I also ended up just picking some different things. I was kind of in the mood for something different on a certain day or whatever. So I just kind of went where my heart led me. Um, so it is a little different than the original one, but I wanted it to match what was in my album. All right. So, um, We've got the 2021 stitched on to a piece of vellum, so it looks kind of like it's all one part until you turn, and then you see where I have stamped my Thankful 30. And then um, I'm just gonna kind of go through these quickly. There's close-ups over on um, Instagram of every spread and then every page as well where you can read the journaling. But this one was just talking about a fear that I overcame, um, of panic attacks, anxiety, um, just really struggling to be able to leave my house, but I was able to actually go on a vacation and have a wonderful time. And then a trait of Olin's, and that's my husband. Um, and I just put that he's probably the most supportive person I know. I just am not sure what I would do, where I would be without him, and, and that's the truth. It's not just something that I say. It is the honest-to-God truth. And then I have a spread about my boys. I use this photo from Mother's Day. They don't love having their pictures made, you know, and to get them all three together and in the mood to take a picture. So I didn't even try to get anything current. I just used this picture again from Mother's Day. Then I talked about my reading, how I used to read over 200 books a year. A lot of that was audiobooks that I could just listen to as I was going about my business around the house. But um, I have really, really slacked off on reading and also documenting it over on Goodreads. And I used to do that religiously. So I'm hoping to make a change on that. That's one of the things I want to do better in 2022. And I just put a little screenshot of my Goodreads there. Um, then I did an heirloom and I told the story of this, um, it's a jewelry box that my aunt had and had gotten it from her husband at some point in time when she was you know, still fairly young, early in their marriage. Um, and then she passed it on to me, so it's at least 60 years old based on her age when she was married, when she passed away and all of that kind of stuff. So it's just a precious piece to me and it is set on the dresser. When she gave it to me, I was still at home. I had not graduated from high school yet. Um, and so it has set on every dresser in every house I've ever been to. It's what sits in the center there. So 
All right, so then we're up to day six, and it was a song I love. And so this song, Yellow Lead Better, is not like Pearl Jam's biggest hit. Most people don't even really know what the words are. Um, so I did include the lyrics in this little pocket. Um, but I just love this song. I have to listen to it just about every day. Um, and I'm not like a huge 90s music fan. Uh, you know, grunge is okay, but I grew up on 80s music. And so, um, but I love Pearl Jam and I love this song. All right, then I did comfort food. So my husband and I had gone out to IHOP to eat and I always get chicken and waffles at IHOP. And to me, that is some of the best comfort food around. It is delicious, yummy, yummy. Awful shot of us. My husband likes to do those looking up at us shots. And so we all get three chins and it's just not flattering. <laughs> but um, so I turned that one black and white. All right, up to day eight, um, I put that I was thankful for bubble tea. I kept hearing people over the last couple of years talk about bubble tea or boba tea. And finally, um, a few months ago, or uh, yeah, probably a couple of months ago now, I had my first real authentic at a tea shop um, in Asheville, North Carolina. I had my first real bubble tea, or they called it boba there. Um, and then I've had it since, and so I wanted to document that. I love it. It just makes me happy to say it and drink it and have the funny names. This one was a, um, a Funky Monkey Boba Smoothie, so it was a little more than just the tea, but it was still delicious. My husband doesn't like them. He doesn't like the tapioca balls. All right, so then we're at day nine. Um, I thought that I would document Happy Mail because I'm always thankful for that. And so in the um, BFF Sticker Club, you get matched up with a, a sticky bestie each month if you want to, and you swap stickers. And so this was what my sticker bestie sent me for the month of November. Uh, for uh, November the 10th, it was something I made. Um, this brief I made a, a year or so ago. Um, so it's not something recent. And I didn't want to do like a, a scrapbooking related thing. I wanted to do something different. And so I thought I would do this one. It hangs on the door going into my craft room or coming into my craft room. And then on the 11th, it was an item of technology. I am diabetic and it's never really been under control that well. So a few years back, um, my doctor suggested trying the Freestyle Libre, which um, I'll show you if you can see it. I can't see the camera, so I'm not sure if I'm in there. It's a, um, you put it on for 14 days and I just scan myself with an app on my cell phone. Um, and so it, I don't have to prick my fingers. I can scan myself a hundred times a day if I want to, um, and just get very up to the minute. Um, I, I'm on two different types of insulin, so I, I need lots of readings, lots of times a day. So, um, very, um, you know, who would have thought, right? <laughs> All right, then I did an app on my phone, and I chose Instagram because it has really helped me this year to move beyond some of the anxiety and the depression and the panic that I was having by getting brave enough to start this crafty channel and put my work out there. Um, you know, for people on the internet, some of those people aren't always nice. Um, fortunately, everyone in my little community has been just wonderful and supportive, and I'm so, so appreciative of that. Um, but it's actually something that, as long as I don't waste time and scroll for too long, has been very beneficial for me. All right, number 13, or day 13, was an appliance, and so I documented my Keurig. I had documented it in some other project earlier this year, but I don't mind repeating photos or um, even if it's the same photo, but I'm telling a little bit different story or I'm telling it from a different aspect. I think it was on my 10 on 10 where I did um, my hand as the focus. So like I was grabbing coffee or I was doing laundry. So this is just a different aspect or a different point of view. So I don't mind doing that at all. 
All right, um, the 14th was something in nature. And my husband and I went on a um, little road trip up to North Georgia to Amicalilla Falls State Park. And I'm gonna raise this up a little bit because I still am not sure if you can see it. This tree is huge. My husband is right here. It is like four or five times wider than a human and forever tall. It was unbelievable how tall that tree was. And so we had a little photo shoot there and I just talked about how, you know, nature is just an amazing thing. And then the last one for today um, is my home. And I had already included some vellum sheets kind of in here just to break it up and add some interest and it happened to fall on this day. So this was a picture that I actually took for pieces of home last week. And um, it, it worked for this day as well, so I just you know, resized it and put it in here. Uh, it's not the best picture. It's got a lot of shadows, but it was the time of the, day, of the day that I had available to get out there and take the photo. So that's what we ended up with. Um, and then when you flip the vellum over, you can see the journaling about how I'm, you know, I'm proud of our home. I'm honored that we can call it ours. Um, when I think about all the growth that's happened between us and our children and, you know, they grew up, they graduated from high school, they went to college, they got jobs, they've moved out. <laughs> um, you know, just so many things have gone on here and those memories are precious. And so this home, uh, whether we live here the rest of our lives or not, will always hold a big special place in my heart. So that is the first 15 days and there's only a few days left in the month. I've just got a few more prompts to go. I already know what they're gonna be. Um, I've just got to get the photos and do the journaling. And I will come back and do 16 through 30 at the end of the month. So I appreciate you stopping by today. It means more to me than you will ever, ever know. And if you enjoyed this little flip through, I would certainly appreciate a thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do that and become a part of my little YouTube family over here. Um, also follow me on Instagram. As I said, there's close ups if you want to see the photos or the journaling um, in you know, a closer shot where you can blow it up and, and look at it a little bit longer. So until I see you in the next video, take care of yourself and do something good for yourself. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.